Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very different but I'm really excited about it because I'm going to be talking to you guys about my experience working at Dorney Park last summer. I know I mentioned this in a few videos before but for those of you who don't know I worked in an amusement park last summer for the whole summer and I spent the summer away from home because it's in Pennsylvania and I live in a completely different state. So I lived with my grandparents and my cousins and worked there and just wanted to give you guys kind of like my opinions, my experience, how it all like went down for me I guess. Alright so I guess I will start with like how I got the job. So I actually thought of this idea like two years ago and I was talking to my mom about it. I was like I could always go live with my grandparents and just like work down there because see the problem with working like where I actually live is that I didn't have my car yet. I was actually working to get a car and I could not get a ride to and from every day because my parents had to work so that's why I thought this would be a perfect idea because my grandparents obviously don't work anymore so they really don't need to go like to too many places so we can kind of like work around their schedule also I thought it would just kind of be fun to work in an amusement park you know it was my first real job like yeah I like babysit and like clean and all that but that was my first like actual like job. So I talked to my grandparents about it and they agreed and I was like alright I guess I'm going to apply then. So I applied and the first thing that they did was call me for like a interview kind of thing. So they called me and I was like not ready for this at all. I've never had a job interview before because I've never had like an actual job so I was like kind of nervous. They were asking me all these questions and I was just kind of like giving them answers, you know, I guess it worked because I was called in for an interview after that. So I drove up, went to the interview, it was a group interview, so we all went in there and it was a weird interview. We had to make like houses out of blocks and just like, I don't know, it was really weird but it was not like nerve wracking at all. I mean I was a little nervous when I was like walking in there, I was like I don't really know what I'm doing. After the group interview I was called in to my manager's office and I got the job so so once I got the job I had to schedule my orientations and trainings and had to do all the paperwork which this was I'm not gonna lie really annoying since I live in a different state like I it came to the point where I had to miss a day of school to go and get working papers in that state like in Pennsylvania that was just kind of like really ridiculous to me that I had to miss school to get the working papers because I had to get them from a school up there instead of here. I don't know. I went to orientation and they basically just like talked to us for like an hour and then took us around the park which okay I forgot to mention this I have actually been to Dorney Park many times when I was younger. I got like season passes every year I was always there and then I just kind of stopped going because I didn't really have time to go anymore and we just all got older and like didn't really go. So then we get to the training and it was like a it was like a shadowing day. So basically I was like actually like behind the register. Okay, well I guess I didn't really tell you guys what I did there. So I was part of the merchandise department and I was a sales associate. So I worked in the stores and like worked the register, you know, clean the stores, all that kind of stuff. I remember the first day they like showed us what to do. You have to like clock in and you have to get like the bag with the money in it and like all that kind of stuff. So I did that and I walked up and the shadowing day really wasn't that bad. I kind of like, it took me like a little bit to figure it out, like an hour or two to kind of like figure out what I'm doing. But after that, like it was fine. Anyways, that was March. So I had my shadowing day, came back, it was fine. And then I didn't work for another like three months. March 8th was my shadowing day and then I didn't start working until like the June 16th. So... It was a while. So I basically finished school. It was my junior year, so I was now a senior and I finished that year of school and then I packed up my stuff and went to my grandparents' house. And I was actually kind of happy that I didn't start until Thursday because that gave me like a few days to just kind of like get my stuff together, get my room all ready, like put my clothes away, organize everything, get everything unpacked, that kind of thing. Those days go by and then it is Thursday and I'm off for my first like real shift. So that is kind of like the beginning of it. So like I said, I was in the merchandise department and I was a sales associate, so I mostly just worked the register and organized the store, helped tag things. For the merchandise department, we had um, six zones and each zone had like a few different stores in them and then you were assigned to a zone. So I was in zone two 
and that doesn't mean you couldn't work in the other places like I did work in a few other zones and other stores and carts and stuff like that yeah, I don't know about other people but I was in the same store like 90% of the time which was the only store in my zone because it was the biggest one for example zone one was like all the water park stuff so like the carts the main store and like all that kind of stuff and zone two was my zone and it was just good time gifts which was my like store that I was in like 90% of the time. Then we had stroller rentals, the regular like register, and then the fudge counter. I also learned how to spin cotton candy, which was actually like pretty fun. Okay, it's fun for the first like five minutes, but after a while it gets kind of boring. So I would have shifts where I would just make cotton candy for like six hours, so yeah, but it was okay, it was fine. So that's kind of like what I did like in just like general terms. The hours are different for every store, but for my store, they were usually, I usually had either 9.15 a.m. to 4 p.m. I had 12 to 8, I had 11.30 to 7.30, 4 to 11.30, and then on Saturdays, they would like go like back 30 minutes, so it would be like 9 to 4.30, 4.30 to like 12. They all had like the pros and cons, like I like the morning ones because I could just get it out of the way and then have the rest of my day, but I also like the night ones so I didn't have to wake up early, which 9.15 isn't really that early, but I had to kind of get there earlier so I can like check in and all that. On to pay, I did not get paid very much. I got $8 an hour, which is actually lower than the, um, what do you call it, minimum wage in my state. My state, I believe it was $8.25. I, th I don't know if it changed or not, but back then it was $8.25 and then in Pennsylvania it was $7.25 so it was more than minimum wage there. I was expecting a little bit more because, you know, the my minimum wage is different, but anyways, it was fine. It like adds up because I got a lot of hours. I was also at like the lowest like position, so I didn't really get paid that much, but it was my first year so I couldn't like, you know, move up right away because I didn't really know what I was doing yet. Speaking of the positions, I was, like I said, the low one, and then the next one up was a team lead, and then supervisor, operational supervisor, and then like the manager. Okay, so now on to scheduling. So we used when to work which is an online like website that is a scheduling website for, you know, like companies like that. I really enjoyed when to work It was really easy. I could just go on, see all of my shifts, and then there was a bunch of different like things you can do on there, but my favorite was the trade board because if I couldn't work a shift or I would, if I like had something to do Saturday night and I had a shift Saturday night, then I could trade it or drop it for something like Saturday morning. There was always something that you could trade for. Everyone posted their shifts. There was so many shifts on there and you could either like train them, drop them, or do both as so people can like choose which one if they just want to take it or if they want to trade you one. It was just really easy and convenient to like kind of like make it make the schedule fit your own schedule so yeah A plus for when to work. <laughs> okay so now on to like discounts and perks so they offered a lot of different things that I thought were really great. First of all you get into the park for free whenever you want so I mean that's good. And then not only that, but you also get into all of the other Cedar Fair parks for free. They also gave you a few free like tickets for your family members, friends, whoever you wanted to bring. Oh, they also gave you, I think it was 25% off anything in the park. They also had just like a lot of like random discounts for like stores around that area. Okay, so now on to my favorite part of this whole experience and that was making so, so many new friends and just really awesome people. Since I was coming from a whole different state, a whole different area, I did not know one person in the whole park. I didn't know anybody. I was a little bit nervous because like I didn't know anyone but I was also really excited because I knew that I would meet so many more people, so many new people. I love meeting new people. I think it's great and I just I just love like having okay this is like kind of weird but I love having friends in so many different places but then it kind of sucks because wherever I am I'm like always missing someone so I made so many friends in Dorney. I still talk to them every single day. I miss them so much. Like I haven't been able to go back to Pennsylvania to see them in like months and I just miss them so much. So that kind of sucks but the fact that I met them and I was able to like do fun things with them and like that kind of thing was really great. So I'm so happy that I met all of you guys. So if any of you guys are watching this, like, shout out to you all. Like, I love you guys. <laughs> and I thought it was just so cool because I met people that were 14 and I met people that were, like, 
I don't know, like 60, 70, like that kind of thing. It was just like unbelievable. So kind of like that variety of people that I met, it was just like so incredible to me. So now we are going to talk about the guests, which, okay, I've had so many guests like yell at me, um, just very, I don't know how to put this in a nice way. They were mean sometimes, okay? They were mean, and yes, okay, I did have a lot of nice customers which were understanding when there was a problem and I was trying to fix it for them. So there were a lot of nice guests, like don't get me wrong, the people there were really sweet, but there were some people who just pushed my buttons a little too far. And before you assume anything, no, I never said like anything mean to any of them. I kept my cool, I kept relaxed, I was calm, okay? Not on the inside, but on the outside, I was calm. I had a smile on my face, I was just like, great, okay. I had one guy that yelled at me because I was out of quarters and I was working on getting them. I was like, it'll just take a second, I just need to get some more quarters so I can give you the right amount of change. But he was just like, very unhappy with me, to say the least. Another incident that happened was when I was in Tradewinds, which is the main store in the water park, and it sold bathing suits. So there is a state law in Pennsylvania, not even like just like a law, like a rule in Dorney, but a state law that you cannot return bathing suits for like sanitary reasons. I don't know what happened before I got there. I guess the person who was there before me on the register didn't tell the guests that, and then they came back in and tried to switch it and like returning like get a new one and like that kind of thing exchange it i don't know why i said all that but you're not allowed to do that so i was like i'm sorry it's a state law we can't exchange or return bathing suits it's for like sanitary reasons and he got so mad at me i called my supervisor have him come over and then he told him the exact same thing that i did and this guy was just like furious right so he just through the bathing suits, like, he, like, hit me in the head with them. It, like, skimmed across my head. And, I mean, it was just a bathing suit, so it wasn't a big deal. But, like, it skimmed across me into the trash can. And I was just like, oh, my God. That job really taught me some self-control. Let me tell you guys. Just, <sighs> this is, like, for any job. This isn't just for Dorney. Like, this is for any job. People are going to be mean to you, and you just have to have a tough skin especially at Dorney because, okay, I understand where they're coming from. I do. They paid a lot of money to be in the park and they want everything to go their way because, you know, why wouldn't you? If I spent that much money to go to a park, then I wouldn't want to be, you know, having the best day of my life. So, yeah, I, I do understand them. I understand where they're coming from, but they just really, like, got on my nerves sometimes, not gonna lie. They're not yelling at you personally. They don't mean those things towards you. You just have to realize that. So Dorney offered a lot of incentives and like contests. We had this one where it was like a fudge fest kind of thing. I think that's what it was called. Where whoever sold the most fudge would get like, you know, free fudge for a month or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys the worst thing about working at Dorney right now. And that is the fact that I was a minor. I have worked all day before. Like... I can work all day, it's no big deal to me, like, it's tiring, yeah, I'll admit that, but you know, like, minor labor laws were the worst thing to me out of the whole experience, I think. So I could work eight hours a day for five days a week, and that is, like, the maximum that I can work. If I go over, then that's, like, a violation, so I had to do that. So that means I couldn't work all day, and, okay, I <laughs> I've, sounds so dumb, like, oh my god, I couldn't work all day, like, I'm so mad, but honestly... I was there to work and I like enjoyed it like I thought it was fun there was always something to do which is why I liked it because I was never bored and the shifts went by really fast and that's not Dorney's fault at all like that is not their decision like that's just like the law since I didn't have my car and had to be dropped off they don't let you get dropped off at the bottom of the park which is where I have to check in so I had to get dropped off at the top walk all the way down get checked in then walk all the way back up and then for break, I walked down and up again, and then when I had to get picked up, I walked down and up again, because they had to pick me up at the top. So that was kind of annoying, especially when I was on crutches. Yes, I worked when I was on crutches, when I broke my foot, and I had to get up that hill and down it six times with my crutches. That was awful, okay? I'm not gonna lie. That was awful. My arms hurt so bad that day. It was kind of my fault for still working in my crutches, but like, I didn't think it would be that bad, but 
I realized, oh crap, I have to go up that hill six times, like, oh boy. It also wasn't a good idea to spend the morning at the park and ride a roller coaster on my crutches as well. Who says I make good ideas? Like, I don't make good ideas all the time. I don't make good decisions. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> there was also a giant, like, end of season party that they do every year and it's called Big Bash. All the employees can just come and just enjoy food and go on rides and they also have a ceremony. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot my favorite part, which is all the free stuff that we got. So first of all, we got this hat. Dorney, and then we also got uh, this little keychain from Haunt, which is like their like Halloween scary, you know, that kind of thing. I got two water bottles, and I also bought this for like 15 bucks. It's a fleece jacket, it's amazing. And I also got this sweatshirt that says Dorney on it, and it's like purple, and this is amazing as well. That was only nine dollars. I also got a pair of sunglasses, but those are in my car, so I don't have them to show you guys. But all the free stuff was nice, so yeah, I love it. <laughs> Soon the season ended and my last day was November 5th, which was like the cleanup day. And that was my last day working and then I processed out after that and turned in my uniform, turned in my ID, and I was done. So that was my experience working at Dorney Park. I told you guys kind of like the big things because there was a lot that happened. Overall, it was an incredible experience. Incredible. I'm so glad that I decided to do it. I met so many new friends. I learned independence, I learned um, how to prioritize things, I learned money management, self-control, definitely the biggest thing that I learned was self-control, patience, and just like, I just learned so many things that will help me throughout the rest of my life. I'm very glad that I decided to do that. So if you are around that area and you wanted to apply, or even for the other parks, like in Cedar Fair, I would definitely do it. It is a great experience. I do have to admit, I can't leave this out, there was a lot of drama that happened. I kind of got tied up in a lot of drama, like somehow, I don't know. It's actually kind of interesting. I'm trying to look at it in a positive way and it could actually make like a great book. Like I'm actually thinking about writing about it because it was very interesting. <laughs> so yeah, that concludes this video. Like I said, I did leave out a lot of things because there was just so much that went into this job. But I'm actually not returning next year. 99% of people stay there for at least like more than a year, more than a season. I am just a rare case. I'm one and done. And that's not because of anything bad that I mentioned in this video. It's just because I'm going to college and the way that it all works out, I would only be there for like a month and a half and it's just not really worth it to me. All of that, like driving down there, packing and all that, just for that short amount of time. So that is why I'm not doing it again. If I could, I definitely would. If you are applying to there, don't be nervous. It really was not anything to get nervous about or just like think about or worry about. It really wasn't. So if you're applying, do it. If you're thinking about applying, do it because it was a great experience. So yeah, that is it for this video. I feel like this video is going to be 20 minutes long, but I'm sorry. I just had a lot to say and I tried to cut it down as much as I could. So I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!